Peace, peace, y'all. Welcome to today's mathematics with your girl, Sunshine Monet L. Today is 823. Hey, you already know this is my fucking Virgo season. I have a lot of Virgo placements, y'all. Sun, Moon, Mercury, and Venus. Get at me. Anywho, so welcome to the day of 23. 23 is a dope number. We like 23, right? Isn't this a big number in sports and all that fun stuff? We like twos and threes. Balance on our emotions. I don't have any, do you? I will work on it today. Let's talk about it. Balance on your understanding. Balance on your creative self. Happy holy day to my mobs in the back. This is a Venusian vibe here on the two and three. Balance on that heart chakra on this Venusian day. Hey, five is Leo energy. That's dealing with the tip of ref. That's the heart chakra right there, cuz. Um, but yeah, we're finding balance on that, on this, you know, 23, this third decan of the month, this decan of creation and emotions and creativity and understanding and, you know, the implementation of your knowledge and wisdom and all that fun stuff. We love it here. So we're in that too. That's the Taurus energy, you know, priorities, you know, heart chakra vibes. We're on that three. That's communication communicating the heart chakra vibes you know what i'm saying finding a community that's in alignment with the heart chakra vibes you know finding a level of understanding of your priorities and business and wealth and you know love the levels of love all that fun stuff on this two three right we got the wisdom we got the understanding and we're gonna put it together and we're gonna put it in the uh what is it walking in your power right Five is walking in the power. The fifth house is Leo. Leo rules over the tip of ref. That's that heart that be on fire, y'all. That is confidence and courageousness, bravery, you know, willing to stand on your truth, right? Are y'all standing on y'all truth? Then we doing it today, y'all, on this Venusian day. We're going to take that five and put it into the month of eight because, you know, during this month of eight, we really get a chance to check our work. And every day on every deck, and we get to check our work twice. We are being very, very anal on this month of eight very very anal in this month of eight a lot of editing going on a lot of spoofing going on very very perfectionist you know very very intentional very detailed you know you see how we have the two eights every day at least that is at least two eights very very extended you know very careful be mindful of the high highs because i make low lows the goal is to be the homeostasis in the middle y'all very transformational very empowering very occultist okay that's where we're at this month in the month of eight so when we take that five and we put it into the month of eight we're gonna do some erasing and some adding you know a little build and destroy a little empowerment a little solar plexus chakra enforcement you know a little trial and error you know um some experiments to support that hypothesis in the five you know and that's going to bring us to 13. 13 is a karmic number. 13 is a karmic number because one is knowledge and three is understanding. And a lot of times we get fear put in us for acting out our knowledge. Like if you know that something is going on and this is not natural and it's not right, we've been taught to be quiet about it and just go along and get along. This whole economic system is a fucking joke. And everybody knows it. And none of you guys are doing anything about it. And it's really irritating my spirit. Do something about it. Jesus Christ. And I'm not talking about these fake teachers on the internet that's trying to get all y'all in jail. <laughs> I'm talking about actually doing something about it. Fuck these people. Anyway. So. Very activist. Very acting. Very care. You know. Act on the things that you know. Act on the things that you know. Be motivated by the things that you know. Be motivated by your uh, your understanding of things and how things work. For real, for real. You know, one is that Aries action energy, that cardinal fire that gets you going. It's the gut that controls your mind and everything starts with the thought. And then three is like acting it out and making stuff with that gut that controls the mind. That's really fun. Like, who doesn't like to act out the stuff? Like, my gut says, hey, I'm hungry. When I get that sandwich, I'm happy as shit. You know what I'm saying? Like fun here on that one and three it doesn't necessarily have to be like this Ooh, 13 like it doesn't have to be a big deal but just to let y'all know we do have a friday the 13th of september shouts to my goddess sister goddess <laughs> my co-host on virgo version talk um that is her solar return all my virgos come together we walk out at dawn anywho so we take that 13 we put it in four 
So once we start expressing and acting out on that knowledge and, you know, all that fun stuff, we're going to build a foundation with it, right? And then we get to act it out again. Then we get to edit it again. Very specific, very perfectionist, very caring, very intentional, very detail-oriented. We edited this twice, okay? So that four and eight come together and make one and two. That's knowledge and wisdom that you're going to get from the second time of editing it. So we go from 13 to one and two. One and three to one and two. <laughs> and what does one and two come up to? Three. Today's a, a day of understanding. Today is a day of Saturn on this Venusian day. And I believe Saturn and Venus are friends. Because who doesn't love a loving way to provide restriction and limitation? <laughs> but today is a day of understanding and creation. Today is a day of formalizing things in our space. Venus is an earth energy that likes to formalize things. Virgo loves the harvest shit. All the alignments lead to a three today. Create. Be in tune with your emotions today. What do you feel? How are you feeling? I bet you your feelings are going to create a lot of really dope things for you today. If you just let your feelings, like, just create the vortex that you need to, to be in, trust me, you're going to do it. It's going to be dope. So let's talk about what's astrologically happening. So an astrological, astronomical report. So we start the day off with an 85% wanting gibbous moon, moon rising at 9.49 p.m. and setting at 10.53 a.m. We are in Aries. New beginnings in our thoughts, gang, gang. In the sidereal constellation realm, we are in Pisces with it. So we're still in that Olukun, still in the deep waters. You know, the moon is at the ops of the sun right now. It's cool, whatever. You stay over there. But I'm just letting y'all know, sun is entering Virgo Zodiac today or tonight at 10 p.m. So get ready. <laughs> I feel it already in my soul. But yeah, so our happenings are still in Pisces. So still coming around that Akashic Records type energy, hidden uh, agendas, hidden goals, tap into your subconscious and your dreams and hidden enemies and hidden friends and, you know, familiar souls that you just feel familiar with. And Pisces is all up in the moon. That's the moon card. So, you know, really being tapped into your third eye, having your third eye open is key here. We're doing this in the 12th house energy. So it's in that Neptune Piscean house of subconscious dreams and secrets and all that fun stuff. Not necessarily secrets too much, but if you if it's like buried in your subconscious, then yeah, I guess it's like secretive, right? We're in the MC line with it. The 12th house is being ruled by Taurus right now, Venusian vibes. Materializing in our space what our soul really desires and deserves. That is key here. We love it here so much. Okay, so the MC line is all about that, you know, success, aspirations, achievements, you know. Um Sunrise at 6.20 a.m. and setting at 7.42 p.m. Um, Delta Aquarius reached the activity end of activity today in Aquarius constellation. Mercury enters Cancer constellation today at 2 a.m. So, dang, we went have rewound all the way back to Cancer. Jeez. That's what's up, though. Shouts to this Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Shouts to this. And no, not tropical constellation constellation that's the vedic chart so uh invoking you know your intuition invoking what you feel is heavy here you know being analytical and and transmuting your knowledge you know one and two knowledge and wisdom coming together right mercury being that knowledge you know let let the moon let cancer be that wisdom bringing us to three understanding of with the collection of both right um but really like like i said with the moon being in like airy uh Aries, Pisces, uh, energy, um, and the energy of Taurus. And then, you know, Mercury being over there and Cancer is definitely a good time to invoke the things that your soul really wants. Your intuition really wants for you. Let your emotions guide the way today. It's going to do good things for you. And then the sun, like I said earlier, enters Virgo Zodiac. So our mindset, our ex mindset and our experience is going to be about service. It's going to be about organization, self-management, moral and integral codes, your health, wellness, daily routine. Go on, but get back into the gym. Go on and do them fast. Get back on your diet. Start paying attention to your body again. Y'all getting ready for school. Getting your schedules in order, whether you're homeschool, your public school, your college school, you a teacher, all those different things. Just getting yourself in order getting yourself managed and maintained um this is the energy of you know harvesting things into our space and we move in gratitude for the opportunity to do so so shout out to my virgo energy i missed you so much it took 12 12 fucking months to get here but we're here that's what i got for you today 
peace, peace.